I'm gonna show you a really delicious and quick recipe using cod. And I'm using the Simply Better Wild Atlantic Cod Lines for this. So these are from Kyo Hands and they're based down in Cork. So they're pin boned. They really are fantastic. The skin is on them, so it holds them all together. And I'm gonna show you how to layer it up. And what I mean by that, we're gonna wilt some spinach, cherry tomatoes, some beautiful buffalo mozzarella, and also we're gonna have some pesto. So this is the Cook with Neff and Maguire, the little leaflet. You'll see this in your local Dunn stores or online uh, on Simply Better website. So that's it there, and it gives you all the ingredients. With this, I'm serving the lovely Bally McKenna potatoes, whereas with this here, you can have the potato gratin or a little bit of rice, as you wish. This, for me, is the star of the show. It's a beautiful fish, lovely and fresh. So for me, as a chef, we're an island. You know, when I go around and visit different fishermen with my seafood trails, we really should be eating a lot more fish because it's healthy, it cooks so quick, and it's delicious. So I'm gonna show you to wilt some spinach, a little bit of rapeseed oil, one piece of butter, and this is some baby spinach. So just make sure it's washed, keep the little stalks on, and we're just gonna literally put this into the pan. Now you think you have a lot of spinach there, but trust me, a pinch of salt, when you wilt this and you cook this down, it just cooks to nothing. Honestly, it does cook very, very fast. Now, so what I'm gonna do is just wilt this, just get my, uh, spatula here you can use your tongs and actually the same bowl I'm gonna put in kitchen paper and I'm gonna explain why in a moment so you can do this in a wok if you're doing it for a few people but this pan is perfect so look at the way this technique is known as to wilt so you do this with pop choy and different kind of soft leaf greens they cook so fast they really do now if you put this straight onto the cod or onto the plate what happens is that um, all the water will come out because there's so much water in spinach so that little tip there on kitchen paper is a great tip for you so we get our spinach which is wilted and actually you can do this without spinach because some people don't like spinach you can just put the cherry tomatoes on which i'll show you in a moment so that goes on there really really simple okay so the cherry tomatoes are sliced everyone just really really thinly and these are beautifully grown in ireland the spinach is irish the cod from county cork so we're using lots of irish ingredients and lots of beautiful italian ingredients which i'm going to talk to you about in a moment so look at the way i've sliced the tomatoes really really thin they're the vine little cherry tomatoes which are gorgeous now next thing we're going to talk about is this buffalo mozzarella here the simply better and then this wonderful pesto you see me using this so much i also some of this in the fridge and with the mozzarella, I love to serve it even on top of pizzas. It's so beautiful. If you're stuffed, if you're putting it into chicken breast, it's really, really gorgeous. So this is it here. I'm gonna cut this, and we're gonna just literally slice. Watch the fingers. Be careful. And then just literally using the knife, place that on top. It's such a great, and it's lovely even if you're having a little anti-pasta with some prosciutto the parma ham maybe some olives something like that it is delicious so this is the pesto i already had one open i told you i always have one in the, in the fridge and you just literally drizzle this over so this is so quick and so simple you're using great ingredients a little pinch of salt a little touch of pepper and then this goes into the oven oh i forgot to say that's on parchment paper so it's a non-stick silicone paper it's wonderful guys it really is i have already one done so it goes into the oven at 200 degrees so i'll just show you the one i've done and that will go in for about 15 to 18 minutes shouldn't take any longer than that so i'm going to show you this here pop this in so have your oven preheated there's one we made earlier pop that in and i'll get a nice close shot of that so that's, yeah, my kind of oven to tableware dish and um, part of the cookware collection. And with the parchment paper, it doesn't stick. It's just fantastic. Like I love the way the mozzarella melts down. The tomatoes have kept their shape. You could actually, if you don't like tomatoes, you could use some of the Simply Better prawns and then the cheese and then the pesto like a gratin, which would be really, really lovely. So I'm gonna serve this up. I'm gonna be really careful just using my fish slice and just literally slide that off. And Mel, if you just go in there and you can just see it, 
it's just oozing so it is absolutely delicious simple quick and uh, full of flavor all those wonderful ingredients now with this we're going to serve some broccoli and these beautiful potatoes i want to show you this so these are from bally mckenna farm in county loud so you see me using them in some of my recipes there's a little dressing with them so you've got to roast them off in the oven for about 40 45 minutes so i'm going to spoon that we love our spuds don't we uh, you could serve this with a little bit of rice but this is, these are great irish producers so as you can see we're using lots of irish products with an with an italian twist that's what i wanted to say so just literally spoon that over to the side and then some broccoli broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables you can you serve it with peas you may think that's enough you don't need it it's totally up to you so with the broccoli what i did was kind of par cook it steam it or you can literally blanch it off in boiling salt or water and then a little bit of water you can use stock or some butter just to warm it through you're not going to be hungry after this this is just real kind of kind of really delicious home cook and this is the way i like to cook and certainly Amel and the twins would love this so they would because it's very simple it's really really good fresh fish and if you look closely you can see how fresh that is the wild atlantic cod loins so that's a really really quick simple recipe and these are the cards here just to remind you so it's the cook with nevin mcguire gives you all the ingredients that you need this is the potato gratin whereas i'm serving it with your kind of roast potatoes and it's just so simple so quick so delicious the only little difference to that recipe in this is just the wilted spinach but how good does that look so i want you all eating more fish and enjoy this really nice cod recipe so this is the cod with the cherry tomatoes mozzarella and pesto and enjoy this i think this will be a real treat for all the family